Hello survivors and welcome to another Soulstone Survivors video. This will probably be the last Soulstone Survivors video until we have hit the update. It is going to be released very very soon TM. Um, I can't give an exact date but I'm sure it is just around the corner so guys hold on for a little bit longer and we'll be there but the last video we did was a do not move challenge so i thought this would also kind of meet that uh, this is on zero curse but we are on endless or overlord uh, cycle and as you can see we have only arcane shield now the arcane shield was actually recent well not recently but it was actually nerfed it used to be a lot lot stronger but it's still pretty strong it's still pretty good you do just need a bit of potency on the actual uh, the shield uh, you can also get things like uh, crit and uh, other things that are going to boost its damage uh, getting yourself like a uh, negative effect as well because it does deal damage so therefore it can affect uh, or inflict uh, burns and things like that if it doesn't instantly just melt enemies although in saying that it can inflict d burns and things like that I don't actually see it doing that so we'll have a look we'll pay close attention to it maybe it can't maybe I've just learned something new but uh, I mean if piercing shouts and things like that can because they affect the enemy's health bar surely this skill would be able to as well but uh, we're gonna go and get some more crit we're gonna add some potency uh, just because that's going to give some of them a little bit stronger uh, looks like they're all on 60 uh, they've all actually it doesn't even look like oh there we go they absorb more damage uh, so we've got 44 damage over there and 39 from that and then obviously it deals well not obviously it deals 60 times more damage than what was absorbed and it does actually create a poison on hits and things like that because we can see it happening over there but because it doesn't hit multiple times it only hits the enemy once there is only that low chance of uh, the enemies being hit by the skill so uh, very difficult to get yourself some uh, decent damage being done by it for negative effects at least so we're gonna go off of the actual uh, oh, what's the wording the potency over here so we are on 30 damage let's see if we go for that it doesn't increase the amount of damage that it absorbs so we do need to look at getting ourselves a lot more uh, crit so it can crit we're on 120 percent that's fine uh, it's guaranteed to crit but then we also need to look at getting some things like uh potency and i don't believe that arcane has the potency for it but we'll see what it does against bosses it does absolutely nothing so we're gonna have to just try and dodge the boss's attacks uh, just so that we are able to survive because uh, as you can see we don't really survive the big hits that occur from the bosses so if we could get our shield back up that would be fantastic there we go and we just need to make sure that it pops uh, on enemies and not on the bosses because the bosses just hurt us way too much but you can see it's killed both of them really really well uh, we're gonna go for more cast frequency more area of effect and more laugh uh, cast frequency again we're not getting oh, here's a nice damage increase so let's see what happens we were on 30 and then still went up to 30 but this time it went to 75 times the damage so depending on the upgrade you get uh, shows you know how much of a, an actual uh, how it affects the actual skill so potency makes them deal uh, this time looks like 130 oh wait that was because we have this up hey yeah okay cool so we actually need to grab our passive that gives us insane amounts of uh, upgrade chances over there or well, not upgrade chances strength upgrades uh, because of the 50% increased damage modifier over there because it is multiplicative not additive uh, we get a huge amount of uh, damage boost over there so we go from 88% uh, to like 175 uh, damage multiplication so that's huge so we can take some damage over here and get some damage done and we're gonna go and grab some more fragility just to help us kill the bosses and we do have quite a bit of um uh, what's the word magnetism to increase the amount of damage that we absorb i mean not ab not damage the amount of xp that we absorb from the surrounding areas because we do need that xp quite uh, you know badly uh, for the skill we do just need to make sure that they're always up though because you know we do take quite a bit of damage 
but we have healed up quite a bit and you can see it is a very very slow sort of build which is okay as well we're not really in a rush for this one can it be done without moving no unfortunately not so it's not your best no movement challenge sort of uh, skill but uh, is it really funny to watch uh, things kill themselves yes it is so there we go we've done half life to them unfortunately again as you can see there isn't any um <clears throat> damage done in terms of bleeding or anything like that we do have like uh, we're supposed to bleed on max uh, on hit because of brutal strikes and because we have max crit so it doesn't look like certain things affect uh you know bosses and those so even though i think we did take brutal strikes somewhere yeah we do so there's a 50 percent chance for the bleed to apply uh on crit uh, we do have max crit so we should be critting all the time but it doesn't look like it works that way i don't think multicast works on this either so uh, it's a bit of a, a bummer with the way that it works it doesn't look like it works the way that we would want it to but we are going to keep going for some cast frequency and for some crits because eventually uh, you know if your numbers are just high enough everything's going to be fantastic anyway and then with the cast frequency at least we've got it down to a 10 seconds and it lasts for 15 seconds so if we aren't hit at least we don't lose the shield so we don't have to worry about being hit but again here we got we're on 92 it goes up to 102 times more damage now and that was a big hit with negative effects as well but you can see the negative effects not really doing much uh, to the enemies because of the damage that the actual skill itself does uh, actually that doesn't really affect me I don't know what I'm talking about there but uh, I think that was more about what <laughs> negative effects were applied over there uh, but uh, the negative effects are supposed to have a base damage uh, I think it's like two three hundred damage over the, the set time so we've got to try and see how much we can do with that we'll see at the end of the game how much uh, damage we dealt as a negative effect or number of hits and things like that it would be cool if it let us know but I do know that there is a really cool change coming in the update. Uh, I can't really tell you more, but there's a really cool update change that's going to be really, really fantastic. Uh, that's going to help us know a few more details about uh, the way that negative effects work. So that's going to be cool. Can't wait for one of those changes in the new update either. All right, next bosses are down. Uh, as long as it's not the... Uh, big hard hitting bosses we do seem to be a-ok -okay over there grabbing ourselves more crit and more damage we're getting a lot of crit here so we we've got a lot of crit uh, i mean nearly 200 percent and a lot of cast frequency and we seem to be doing pretty well again not on any curse level this is more like a silly saturday because on saturday we never really rolled with one so i thought we would do something silly that i've really thought about uh, doing previously and just never got around to doing it so i thought this was the best opportunity and while we're waiting for the new update why not do a really really silly video uh, and that's where we are today so i hope you guys are enjoying this one very interesting skill i don't think you can do this on high curse unfortunately it just doesn't have the damage that some of the other skills have uh, which is a bit of a pity because it would have been really nice to have been able to have them but uh, as you can see it does still deal quite a lot of damage and both of the bosses are already dead uh, we do actually have uh, this up so i mean doing 135 uh, times more damage which is just really really insane and because it's up very very often as soon as it breaks uh, it's usually up again or it doesn't break all six of them before everything dies so we do always have a shield up as long as it wasn't against like a shield bash from uh, one of the knights or something like that we are in a good spot we did lose a shield over there so we had to just run around for a little bit but we're just going to wait till we get to 2000 or close to 2000 so we can then use our uh, last mana crystal over there and get our uh, you know damage all the way up for the final bosses so we do have a another mana crystal right over there we've got about 150 more kills to go and then we'll be in a very good spot and though, although you see damage numbers on our screen ooh, that actually did hit us quite hard it broke all the shields uh, we even took damage and that's why you saw the uh, arcane weaver's special uh, damage the arcane pulse that he has that goes off when you take damage 
that's why we saw it because of uh, actually using all of our shields. So there is something hitting us really, really hard. We do have to just be careful of that because it's causing us a bit of grief. So bosses should spawn right about now. We're just going to pop that and that should put us in a very good spot. Fantastic. We just need to take one or two hits and we should kill them pretty quickly. And flamethrower is actually a really good one to chill under because it deals damage over time. It's not necessarily going to kill us. And bam, we killed the bosses. So that was actually a really good last boss fight. We do have quite a few Leviathans, so we are moving really, really slow. This is one of the exceptions to Leviathan, where we don't have to move around a lot, so you can take it. And the rest of the skills don't really matter. So stat-wise, 160 crit, 361 crit damage, nearly 200 cast frequency, quite a bit of AoE so that we deal damage quite far away. And it did quite a decent amount of damage. We'll see now just how much. Uh, 57 million damage from arcane shield with a two and a half million from the astral safeguard which is when you get hit it explodes around you dealing damage and then we did have mart bloodlust and arcane power as well as frostbite in the beginning to try and get all of the arcane shields so uh, with regards to runes as well we ran arcane inclination singular focus multicast mastery and unconventional start i hope you guys enjoyed the video Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this uh, in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.